<laughs> Robin. Hey, we're hanging with Larry the Cable Guy today. Let's not forget Comedy Central roast of Larry the Cable Guy this Sunday, 10 p.m. on Comedy Central. He just pulled us off uh, air that Marsha Brady's hilarious on this thing. Oh, yeah. So now I feel like a, a fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah, how are you going to know? See, that's a surprise. You're going to watch it. Yeah, and then he's giving some uh, of the inside stuff that who knows if it's going to make it. Uh, we were just talking about Greg Giraldo. And, and like you said, he doesn't apologize. No, no, no uh, Nick DiPaolo. Uh, Nick DiPaolo, uh, I'm sorry. Gr well, Greg is well, everywhere funny I go, in his own right, obviously. I always tell everybody when I do interviews, because Nick is one of my all-time favorite comedians. Yeah. And so I had him if I'm on there, but he's just not apologetic for yeah. anything, which I love about him, but hilarious. I hope most of his stuff makes it. What was, it was the one thing you were telling us, just in case it doesn't make it? He was telling sort <laughs> well, of the well, Lisa you know, Lampanelli type joke. It's funny how you can, somebody can do a joke and everything's hilarious, and somebody else will do a joke that's almost like, like the same that's, kind of joke, sure. and then get booed like yeah. you're an idiot. Mm -hmm. You know, so Nick did a joke kind of like Lisa did, and everybody boos him. He's like, oh, shut up, you white liberal Hollywood faggot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, then everybody Nick. laughed at that, yeah, you yeah. know, so I hope they keep that mm -hmm. in because it was hilarious. Yeah, he, but, never, he never apologizes. But uh, Marie McGovern, she did good. Or McCormick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ma Marie McGovern. Oh, sorry. Didn't the Maureen the McGovern senator? sing The Morning the After yeah, and The, the morning Side after. Adventure? <laughs> sorry. You had her on? <laughs> Fuck. Damn. Yeah, yeah, where, where's she been? Me. Yeah, where the hell is she been? <laughs> well, she yeah. was dirty. Yeah, oh, and then God. that girl who played Chrissy in Jaws, the first girl that gets eaten, she was on. Wow. Flo it's from Mel's event. Diner did a set. <laughs> oh, they got all the big stars for the Larry the Cable Guy. It was a big event. You know, me and Ron White one time were coming to airport, Wichita, Kansas. And it was real early in the morning. We're hitting the planes like six ten in the morning, and some guy goes, "Hey, Ron White and Larry the Cable. Boy, I tell you what, so good to meet you. How was your show? Blah blah blah. Good." He goes, uh, "Boy, you missed it last night at the airport." And we said, "Why? What happened?" Boy, they shut down a couple of the terminals here. We had a big old Hollywood fella come in here last night giving a speech, and it was a pretty big deal. We had the police out here, and they go, well, who was it? I don't know, but he's one of them big Hollywood guys. Uh, what the hell? Uh, hey, Betty, what was, what was the name of that program that fella was on that come in here last night? <laughs> you hear this woman from the back go, growing pain. <laughs> 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 Oh, Kirk oh, oh, oh. Cameron come in. Oh, uh, man. Oh. Nice. Big, big Hollywood star. <laughs> it was just kind of fun. <laughs> Boy, big, we had a big deal here last night. A big deal. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. Larry, you got a lot of Obama fans coming to your shows? Uh, you know what? I have no idea. I want people to want to laugh. So if, they, if they're Obama fans, but they want to laugh, go ahead. Yeah. You know. Well, you see the you know the whole country because I mean it's rah rah Obama on the on the on the outsides here. Wonder right. what the rest of the country says. Uh, it's not too rah rah. Okay. No, no, I'm yeah, not no. seeing much rah rah either. <laughs> yeah. I just wrote a joke the other day about well they swore in a new president. And most people are still swearing. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean you know so I try to uh, you know but you know when I do my shows uh, I try to avoid it as much as I can because the way I figure it people getting fed up with politics and they just mm -hmm. want to come out and laugh and the last thing they want to do is hear somebody preach but well, they think you're smarter than everybody yeah. else so i just kind of <laughs> yeah. if i think of if i think of a good clever one i will do it but and it's quick and in and out you know i'm not gonna right. harp on yeah, it you sure. know yeah so just kind of like it i remember i wrote one during the elections i thought it was kind of funny about obama had a had a uh uh a, uh a dinner he had a money making dinner Twenty eight thousand dollars a plate and the entertainment was Barbara Streisand. And I'm thinking, Good God, for twenty eight thousand dollars a plate you think one people want to keep her food down. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I avoid it as you know, I try to avoid it as much as Are I can. Are there people that really want to see Barbara Streisand out there? <laughs> yeah. They're called gays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, she does have a giant gay following. Yeah, there. dude. They're yeah. fucking gay guys. That's the first sign Damn. when your husband's Googling Barbara Streisand. Yeah. You try to type in barbershop and barbershop. Strice and signals, and you, yeah. she's you're finished. I remember one time, a long time ago, probably '91, something like that. I was going out with this girl who was really pretty, and she wanted to go see Liza Minnelli. And I'm like, oh, good lord, oh, you boy, know yeah. Liza Minnelli. And then I'm trying to rationalize. I go, well, you know, she is part of the Rat Pack, kind of. You know, she used to hang out with the Rat Pack guys. I guess ain't no problem going there. Okay, I'll take it to see Liza Minnelli. And I'm like, oh, boy, I'm thinking it's going to be like, you know, I'm just trying to get laid. I don't care who. Yeah, yeah. You know? 
So we get there, and, and, and sure enough, we sit next to these two dudes. These two, you know, in suits, real good-looking dudes, right? And I'm like, oh, great. She's going to sit next to this son of a bitch and talk to him, and I'm losing my date. <laughs> the guy turns around, oh, look at the dress she has on. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I guess I'm safe. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, they, uh, oh boy, they love her and her mom. <laughs> you can they? definitely take a chick to a Liza Minnelli, George Michaels concert, any any of those people, you're fine. Yeah, no one's, no one's really going to uh, you know Russ hit Ma- on your chick. Russ Maneev actually went to a George Michael concert by himself. <laughs> what? He went on, he heard he was in town, went online, bought one ticket, and went by himself. Big fan, or did he have some kind of weird I, ulterior I'm motive? Still trying to, I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm investigating mm. it. Trying to get if he bought That's a T-shirt. Odd. I don't know. Well, wow. Who would, wow. Who'd go see George? Wow. And he couldn't stop telling how great it was. He's maybe like, he went to meet women. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess there are some women that still think he's available. <laughs> if he went there to rape, I guess it's okay. <laughs> we have to give out some Carson's uh, ribs, by the way. Carson what? what? Carson's ribs, mouth-watering oh, meals yeah. from America's premier barbecue restaurant. Carson Daly. Carson's ribs <laughs> delivered right to your door in a safe and sophisticated cooler. Really? You ever get meat in the mail there, Larry? I have never received. No, no my meat wife in the mail. My Ooh, wife has about Barbara Streisand. My wife has ordered meat in the mail. Yes, she has. <laughs> <laughs> then they, they cut the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> they figured out that meat in the mail crap, man. I'm telling yeah. you. Every once in a while, we get a box of meat here. It's not legal in every state. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> guaranteed fantastic meal with no fuss to order. Call 888-999-RIBS. That's good. And they also got ribs.com online, so that's good. If you're going to do the ribs thing, you should have ribs.com, that's right? That's right. Them ribs taste wants, better than a charity on game day. Who wants ribs out there? <laughs> She's shaking her head. You don't want free ribs? Get a my. Why don't you want free ribs? To the woman. You don't like ribs? Get Coach, Coach McNally. You want Wait. ribs? I thought it was just... <laughs> that dude does look like a coach. He does, doesn't he, with his so, son? Yeah, why don't you want ribs, uh, female guest watching the I radio show? I'm okay. I'm not... Well, we're, we're not talking about right now. We're not See, pu- I think she's just a little confused. We're not, we're not talking about like, hey, we have some ribs for you to gnaw on right now. Right. Um, see, these are ribs that'll be delivered to your, your home. Oh, I would love them. And then it's you, you make them and you eat them there in the privacy, in the privacy yeah. but now of it's your too own late. home. It's too late for you. Is that, that, is that your boyfriend next to you? That was my brother. Oh, good. Oh. oh. You want some ribs? Good, then she can show us her ditch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let your brother yeah. squeeze your let your brother squeeze your tits and you got what? ribs, man. <laughs> oh, okay. right, what? No, took it what? I'm the only one. Wow, no, that you're not. What line. happened? Right. Like I we haven't done this before. I gotta <laughs> tell you, I'm with you. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> everybody's He's got that. Everybody's got here. that tub photo when you're a kid. You're both in the tub, nude. Yeah. Is when there anything uh, a little... 20 years old, it's a little weird. Pubeless. <laughs> Is there anything a little risque you would do for $100? Uh... No, no. He's... he's, he's... $3,000. What, <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> Three grand right now, Cash. What would you do? I'm talking to him. Wow, well, everyone... Him? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Where, I'm talking uh, to you. Where, 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 where are you from? We make, we make money. Yeah. We oh, yeah? Oh, excuse me. Jobs. What do you do? <laughs> I I'm... work for uh, Metro North. Not North. you. Uh, uh, Metro North? All right. Uh, I'm in sales. Sales? What do you sell? Medical things. Medical supplies. Oh, yeah. that job ain't going away anytime soon. Yeah. That's, that's a safe. That's why they hire time. hot chicks to sell it. <laughs> yeah. They do, yeah, because they go in, they meet the doctors. The doctors are all horned up. They, she takes them out to dinner. I saw it on House. Takes them out to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then they, uh, you know, they give them a little thigh rub under the table, and then yeah, they buy this stuff. They're buying all kinds yeah. of fucking new colostomy bags. You'll never, bags you'll never see old dudes. Selling anything hospital or all that stuff—it's always yeah. hot chicks. Yeah. All right. Am I am I lying? No, you're right. It's all young women. It's all young hot right. chicks. So. Ah, well, the, interesting. They yeah. got good jobs, so you don't need the free ribs. Right. Let's, oh, let's unless look. it's a sponsor, then of course. No, don't worry. We'll, no, we just talk <laughs> about ribs. And yeah, really. Things like that. I got that. it. I got it. We're for like an insurance. <laughs> We're like, we got, <laughs> yeah, that's me. We got the great Larry the Cable Guy in studio, but fuck him. Uh, we need to give away ribs right now. <laughs> I know. Who See, it goes to, you know, that's top. kind of a compliment because it just comes off so natural the way we talk about these things that people really think we're just yeah. having a conversation right. about who's, uh, who's, ribs. Or, who's down on their luck uh, out there? Most of you, because uh, you should be working. Yeah. They're from Wyoming. Oh, oh yeah. Give them the ribs. Down on your luck right they there. don't have any food in that town. 
<laughs> Wyoming. Yeah, but there's a lot of roadkill in Wyoming, man. You just pull over your truck or something. You got you got some good eats. Right. That's true. What's your problem? If you flew from Wyoming, you got money. So fuck Who you said too. He flew? Uh, he didn't tax fly. return. What? Tax return. My tax return's all gone. It was a. The oh, whole you trip you got a refund and you spent it coming here, huh? Really? What, what have Wyoming's you seen in What have you seen in New York? That's, what'd you say? Uh, Wyoming's a state. Bob. What'd I say? Uh, you said I was a town. Yeah, well, okay. you know what? It, I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay. You shit town. I hope it fucking falls off the map. It's not a town. You're it's in a my state. You're in my town now. So <laughs> shut your face before you get mugged. <laughs> you know it's in Wyoming. Okay. Yeah, I do. Devil's Tower. Yeah, the Devil's Tower. Close Encounters. Never uh. been. Don't ever get yeah. technical with me. Just answer the question. Do you want ribs or not? Yes. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> it's yes, not yes. No, I'm joking. Uh, what about the guys in the back? What is, what is their deal? We're good. That's a father-son trio. Why are you good? You don't like ribs? I like ribs fine, but... You don't want to be picked on, you, right? You, you you said you were looking for somebody that was down on their luck and struggling. We're fine. You do good, right? What do you do? do? Well. Uh, I'm a kept man. Yeah? Oh, you don't have to work? Exactly. What does she do? She's a mortgage banker. Oh, oh Christ. shit. Wow. That's not like... Guaranteed money these days. Yeah, that's uh, um, she's very good at what she does. Oh shit! Ponzi scheme? No, no. <laughs> she's an honest, an honest mortgage banker. Wow, she's the one. Yes, the one. Uh, all right, all right. I'm so, Ronnie B's worst nightmare. A country club hayseed, and I've got my uh, fraternity boy son with me. So ah, uh, Ham and Egger. Yeah, <laughs> you guys Ronnie like, calls him. You like Larry the Cable Guy? Absolutely. We talk to him out front. All right, good. I'm sure you, you know, love that conversation. You know, my brother got a house he couldn't afford, and I told him not to get it, but he bought it anyway because he wanted to be big dog on the block. And sure enough, he got foreclosed on, and they made him drive it back to the block. <laughs> 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 drive it right back to the lot. <laughs> that would be pretty like embarrassing. <laughs> foreclosing on a trailer. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck? Oh, you damn. Gotta, you got to think that happened to someone out oh, there. Oh, yeah. yeah. You uh, we need your trailer back. Dang. Uh, damn it. Uh, all I could afford you. Right. Had to get the double wide. Couldn't, couldn't stay with the single. Had to be big dog. Had to be big shot. Uh, and we didn't need that fancy skirting on the outside, now did we? <laughs> to hide the cinder block. Well, that's funny. Anybody else out there? We uh, worked the audience. It's a small crowd today. It's Monday. Usually yeah. Friday's the big day, Larry. This is not because of you or anything. If you were here on Friday, there'd probably be a hundred people out there for real. Right. Well, eight, Friday's the big day. To eight's come good. Check out the eight's show. good too, eight's right? Good, right? Eight a hundred. Yeah, but this poor guy uses tax returns to come and see the show. That's crazy. <laughs> well, he, he could have probably... bought. He could have bought uh, a like a donut mm -hmm. or a, a Sony PlayStation game, but he came here. Yeah. Did you tell Heather Heights to call in, Bobby? Yep. Who's that? You said, yep, who's that? I don't know. I just want to be a team player. Oh, there's another. There's nine. Who's had the height? Oh, uh, who's the ninth? Mm. Oh, no, that's it's like a Bob ours, Kelly show in here. I guess we give it to the, what? The Wyoming guys? <laughs> <laughs> the Wyoming guys? Yeah, yeah Wyoming yeah, guys. guys. You just stepped on a really good <laughs> one. Well, it happens. Don't fucking Sorry, get Larry. mad at me. <laughs> Sorry. I'll listen to the replay and I'll laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you do. You listen to the yeah. replay and go, damn, I did fuck that up. <laughs> I've done right. that so many times. All right, let's give it to the Wyoming guy who uses tax return to come here. So you got a yeah. $100 gift certificate uh, to Carson's Ribs. Go to ribs.com or call them, 888-999-RIBS. Thank you guys very much. All right, man. Enjoy well, the show. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, but Would you say fuck you? Hold on. We got Heather Heights <laughs> on the line. Heather. Yeah. Bobby told you to call in? Bobby told my uh, the guy producing the show on Sunday to call in, and he asked me to do it. All right. Why well, I said you can call in if you want. He was asking me to phone. I said you you can call in if you want. I didn't tell anybody. I'm not. Any, I'm not. Any, you're making it sound like I'm fucking setting things up. Oh, certainly not. No, just like you know, lost in translation. It's an email. You know. Yes, I, mean, I produce the show. So, Let me do nothing. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, the, we are on the show, right? Yeah. You're, what are you, hosting? Yeah. Okay. This is the girl that did the comedy here. Yeah, I know. She, yeah. Uh, yeah, she comes in. She did the comedy that time. In, she you, did all right, man. You'll, she rem did you'll remember. We put she her in a tough good. spot and she did all right. I would have fucking choked. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Yeah, I would have choked. All right, so that's it with Heather? I, I, yeah, yeah. we're doing a show together on uh, March 15th, right, Head? Yep, this Sunday. Yeah. Second worst call on the show today. Who was the first? Oh, well, thank you very oh, Rich? Much. Rich Voss. <laughs> Yeah, you, you were better than Rich, Heather. Yeah. Yeah, well, I heard uh, Rich got in a fight at my home club. Where's oh, your, your home, home club? Or, yeah, I used to run the open mic at Wisecrackers. Oh, okay. Wisecrackers. Wisecrackers. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. see, apparently they're the Wisecracker. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, to punch him. Maybe you should call Rich again. Maybe he's embellished the story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there I was, alone on the stage. I, I went to kick him. My shoe flew off. Hey, those Scranton people are rough. I used to have to bounce people out of my open mic all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. See, that's good. They're She's embellished on that one a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Heather. Thanks a lot. I'll see guys. you uh, this week, next week. All right. Yep. See Bye, you next huh? Sunday. Sunday. Bye. Sunday. Yeah, this week. Coming up. Who gives a fuck? She's bouncing people out of the clubs. Yeah, she's a, she looks like a tough girl. I don't fuck with redheads. Redheads, redheads in any movie are always the fucking crazy evil persons. Have you yeah. noticed that? Children of the Corn, Malachi, fucking redhead. Christmas yeah. story, redhead. They're always redheads with fucking. I don't fuck with redheads. Some they, redheaded bitches are pretty hot though. I, I, I no, no, never. never. I'm just not into redheads. I don't like. Yeah. I don't I'm like not certain talking Asians. Ronald McDonald red. I'm talking like strawberry. Like She's not that, that that fucking Irish Irish spring commercial. Girl, I don't red like hair. I don't like in the inside of their inner thighs. You can see the vein, the blood. <laughs> Pumping through their fucking body makes me want to puke. I don't want to know that it's blue blood. And I don't want to see that one fucked up yellow tooth. It's like perfect. What? They always have one fucked up tooth. Why does redheads have one fucked up tooth? I don't I know. I, I'm going to look at redheads Never all day heard that. Black but girls all tooth. have stretch marks on their tits. It's a yeah, fact. Yeah. Black, because their skin, it's not. I'm not being racist. I'm just saying it's. Well, like, you are. Well, huh? well no, it's a. Fu it's the way it is. Their skin. Tell that their, to our yeah, bosses. Right. Their, their, their Continue, skin, Jimmy the Greek. Let's see Their skin why. is fucking different. What they, they run faster. What they do is. They're faster than gazelles. These motherfuckers. <laughs> the titties are stretched. <laughs> the titties are stretched out because the skin gets dark and white. But yeah. every picture I've seen of a uh, nude, a uh, nude black. It's woman, just the I skin. Yeah, that, because the stretch mark yeah. takes the mel the melanin. I think it is yeah, out of the skin. And yeah. that's why black people, like the laser hair removal, black people can't do that because it will leave white dots because uh, the uh, the actual... Uh, I know this shit. Because I'm a... a <laughs> look, I'm stupid in so many I ways. I say you're stupid. But I'm smart but in just dumb ways. But how do you I know just know like stupid that? shit. Yeah. Because things that interest me, I like. And black people I, and black chicks, I like. Yeah. I used to a lot. I'm getting back into them, but I'm not getting back into American black chicks. I like those tall, thin, African tall ones. Where you're like... <laughs> with the fucking heinies that are like... Tootsies or the fucking, Tutus. Oh, the Tootsies. Yeah, you know, beating yeah. up for the National Geographic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. I don't know why I have a... Fa oh, I want one with long legs with the wait, ass. Wait. You could hang a fucking stick of beer can on the back of her ass. He can't, and he like can't get it off unless he sees him bent over eating a wildebeest. <laughs> <laughs> I need them I need them with folded leaves I need, on their head. I need to see a picture. Danny's looking around right now. Yeah. Like, they're not... They don't have the big booty... I no no. Be I want the small little. Like you tight see the picture of Beyonce, of Beyonce in the paper no, today. No, fuck that. I don't two, want anything to do with two it. Two of our guys. They, Danny's one of them. Thinks it's. A, it's <laughs> That's awesome. not hot. That's delicious. Does nothing, Larry. No. Does nothing for me. Give me the paper. I want. I want a tight Awful. little. A tight little. I just ran thirty six mile booty. I don't get that. Oh, you want like marathon? Want marathon uh, runner? Yeah, yes want, or no? Nothing. Uh, nothing about no. me. None. That is a scary ass. Do you know what I'm saying? You, know, you hot, like that too? No, That's I mean huge. hot. Like she's beautiful, but uh, no, her... how hot it gets in the summer. That mushy and misty, and open it up and <laughs> makes that sound. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hang wall. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I don't want that shit. All right, we're looking for that your... girl that was on Baywatch. What was her name? Um, oh, yeah, uh, the, that yeah. black girl on Baywatch. Oh, I know her. Uh, I know you're talking butt. about. Yeah, she yeah, had a little bit. Yeah. That's what I'm talking. That thing. That no, you don't want a big I mean, fucking can you ass like the that. Turds that come out of that. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, hard yeah. is <laughs> I can't even explain the the butt picture of Beyonce today. It's just like it's not. It doesn't look. <laughs> I don't like real. Good I like Lord. a nice thin butt on a black girl. Yeah, I like that African fucking. All oof. right. We're you know, to there's I like a mo I like the the afro too, a tight afro. I don't like that fake horse hair. There was yeah. a girl. Yeah. Hey, there was a girl. You'll see her at the rose. This black girl, beautiful, mm -hmm. had that fro, big fro go. Oh my yeah. god, love the fro. Gorgeous, big love like. Fro. Yeah. You ever, you ever go black, Larry? Uh, no, I never have. Me either. I wa no, always wanted to. Never have. You always so. wanted to. Why can you? Oh, you're married now. That's right. Yeah. Well, I, I, forgot. My, I, I was going to ask you why didn't you ever? I don't know. Didn't I, have game I, for a black chick? I, I you got to have game if you're no, a black guy. No, I told guy. the story. When I was doing radio in Buffalo, I went to a couple of the black clubs trying to figure it out, and they just laughed at me. Good luck. Black girls are different. Sexually, black, about it. black girls, like this is the one thing, with a white girl, 
you have to give them an excuse to fuck around. You have to, you know, rub their tits, rub their pussy, you know, get <laughs> what them all. A, what a hassle. You have to get them. No, but you have to, you have to really do all oh, this shit to get so them icky, so worked Bobby. up. So Jesus. worked up. So they're like, oh, my God, I have to suck his cock. So the next day they're like, I don't know what happened. A black girl, every black girl I've been with knows I'm fucking. I'm fucking them tonight. I'm, they make that decision so already. There's no yeah. So there's no nonsense. <laughs> the first black girl I ever went with, I swear to God, I'm rubbing her tits. I'm right. rubbing her pussy, doing all that white girl shit <laughs> where you rub their pussy and you put your hand, their hand on your cock and you try to get them so horned up that they can't help it. Yeah. This girl went whoa 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 is Larry whoa. Looking for help. She she actually looked at me. <laughs> she goes like this. Out of your she goes like this. She goes, I'm fucking you. Relax. <laughs> Really I swear to God. That? Then she folded my clothes, yeah. took my clothes off, folded them, and fucked the shit out of me. Turned on like some radio station I've never heard of <laughs> in my life. To this day, I still can't find this. It just made my dick bigger, this fucking, yeah, baby, baby, baby. Some fucking crazy black music. Was, was it like soul? Some soul. Did she slow it down with a little some soul? African drums in the back. It little, just made my dick bigger. It was so sexy. Little Barry White or something? Turns something. out, all these years later, it was Condoleezza Rice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't relate in a way where I would even be able to. You're not even relate. If I was just, into that, just going no, for no, it. I mean to, to to relate to get into a conversation to even start to take a, a black chick home. Yeah, I wouldn't know what the fuck to say. Hi, oh, how you doing? Oh, get I, the fuck away from I, me, white pants. I called the first black girl I ever went with. I called her colored by accident oh, on the first day. What the hell? Where'd you pick her up? In a DeLorean from fucking 1955? <laughs> no, I was You're with I, Marty McFly. It was right <laughs> when they switched over from. Uh, black to African American, so yeah. it was that you know because it went from colored yeah. to black to African American to Afro American, Afro American, and then African. African. I didn't know which one yeah. it was, and I was panicking. You're years so the, away from colored though. At what the, are you crazy? I, at the last second, I just went. I never been with a colored girl before, and she went. I ain't colored, motherfucker. And I was like, oh shit, pick the wrong I, one. I'd be interested to know though, because I got a lot of black buddies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't like be, they like they don't like being called African American. No, I don't understand. I, I don't know. Black guy. What are you supposed you know to say? You know, white people started that phrase because most. Yeah, of yeah. I'd, it, I'd be interested to take a poll if you called a, bu a uh, bunch of people and just up. asked them what. Set a poll up there. Hang on, Bobby. You yeah, know, Bobby, why don't you tweet poll? It, it is saw, true. Cause I thought because I seen a thing on C-SPAN one time. I was watching this thing. On, believe it or not, I was watching C-SPAN. C-SPAN. <laughs> and uh, there's a black Ambien guy. Up, there's, a, there's this black guy up there talking, and he said, "For all the media in here, I just." want to let you know and report this uh we are americans we're not african americans we weren't born in africa yeah. we were born in america and we'd like to be called americans and so i mean i'd just be interested to know i mean and and it, it's not uh, completely accurate either because uh, a lot of times if you hear people saying and uh you know they're looking for an african-american male right a, a guy could be from fucking uh well, I, got, I know a guy from jamaica i know a guy from a white guy from south africa that when he fills out his applications he says african-american african-american because he is from africa and then they just throw well, the application away <laughs> 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 terrible well depending on the quota well I mean, you yeah know, it might be that's true okay like uh hey we yeah. found your uh dream girl bobby turn around there you go no oh, holy <laughs> shit yeah. what's wrong with you my, <laughs> look she got a little afro oh, god she got the uh, nice tight afro uh, like you like the tits i tell you what? she's skinny look at the arms she's nice and skinny <laughs> what's you, the problem did you Bobby? melt her and she what? could carry you on a strap on her head <laughs> do you know what that tit smells like <laughs> uh, no i don't have smell of vision uh, but I could see what it looks you like. Could it, you it could looks imagine. You could imagine. I wasn't asking literally, you asshole. It looks like <laughs> that. Yeah. Is, that's the Zulu. It looks like what you you write a name on a cake with. <laughs> that's yeah. what a titty looks like. A frosting bag. Yeah, yeah. 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 She like got a frosting bag tits. <laughs> oh, shit. Those, those, those things around her neck are the dead teeth from her fucking pussy. <laughs> what? What the hell? One falls out, another one grows in like a shark. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? That is <laughs> horrific. <laughs> oh, that the frosting is bag. Dude, that's, yes. that's going to make me laugh all day. I do. <laughs> oh, look at that belly button. It's always <laughs> fucked up because they just bit it off. The, the baby came out and they just bit it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there, what that uh -huh. tribe is uh -huh. or anything. Would you, would, if you were out in the jungle, wait, let's just stop for one second. You're yeah, for a second for me to say no. <laughs> what kind of question are you even going to try to... i got to say, this could be the first time I have to say no to a would you. <laughs> and there's a lot of, I would do just for the goof. But that, that, now... All right, Larry. Would you, Larry? Wait, hear him out. Listen, here we are. Here, 
You're out in the Give jungle. Give a good scenario. This Bobby. is where you live now. This is it. The fucking world is over. You're not coming you're back anytime there. soon. They're the only ones living. It's you <laughs> and this broad. Right, right. Okay, you're in the jungle. <laughs> she knows how to take fucking little uh, little caterpillars and make them into a stew. <laughs> she knows how to fucking make a cock thing to cover your dick so it doesn't get scraped in the bushes. <laughs> the big cock stick. Yeah, the cock stick, the king cock stick. It's called a penis gourd. <laughs> right? Penis gourd. Sorry, penis Danny. Gourd, Didn't know yeah. you had one. Bobby, so far so good with the scenario. Keep it going. Right? And then you fucking, you know, she <laughs> knows how going. to make some tea that gets you a little fucked up and makes you horny. Don't forget about it. She could knock, you know, monkeys out <laughs> oh, of yeah, the trees she, with the She knows how darts. to fucking make a blow dart gun. <laughs> right? Right? Right. She'll put a fucking nice bone through your nose. <laughs> she knows how to do a lot of shit. She's going to take care of you, but she wants you to fucking go down on that rusty <laughs> pussy. She wants you to go down on that ashy, dirty, <laughs> must pussy and fucking take the fuzz off, peel it off, because that shit, that's not even hers. That was just there yeah. from the animal she killed this afternoon. <laughs> so I go gonna, down on so it. So finally, Larry the Cable Guy, would you? Would you? No. <laughs> I guess I'd rather walk around. But that's no more pussy on earth. That's the last hunk of pussy. You left. know what? Uh, I'd rather walk around getting thorns on my cock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, no cock stick for you. Let me I tell you go something. To, yeah, I'd go to like fucking vegetation. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Let me like, tell you something. Tree? Not any amount of anything. I would take her fucking clit that looked like a knee. <laughs> and I would suck on it. I would lick it until it actually got moist again, because I know it'd be dry like a dirty knuckle. Dude, <laughs> I'd have to spit on it and let it soak like a sponge. If she so lifted it, it'd that, become like skin again. <laughs> if she lifted that grass skirt, all you'd hear was. <laughs> no, you'd, hear, you'd actually hear this, Quaid. <laughs> Quaid. You'd have to peel yeah. a skin off like when you put a uh, pudding in the uh, fridge. Uh, right? uh, <laughs> uh, it would yeah. look like a, a, fi a finger without the thumbnail when you rip the thumbnail off. Uh, Just that dried, pussy. Uh, I think we have enough descriptions of this woman's yeah. genitalia. It's the only vagina that clears its throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you just hear it down there going... <laughs> <laughs> it's actually smoking a pipe. <laughs> well, hello there. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. That <laughs> oh, woman. shit. Oh, Bobby, that's a good scenario. Man. She's in her prime. Uh, look at her arms. Look at the definition in the veins. How old do you the... think she is right there? She's probably 14. <laughs> <laughs> I set you up good, motherfucker. <laughs> I want to see what she's carrying on the back there. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, probably the rest of the tribe or something. Well, this is actually... Uh, it's uh, a, a woman from the Kambai tribe. There's actually a whole show about these. I uh, saw it. It's the actually pretty guys. cool. Yeah, Mark, Mark and Ollie. Ma Mark yeah. and Ollie went and lived with them, yeah. She just threw a bowl of monkey brains at Richie Voss. <laughs> 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 Who's Mark and Ollie? What's that about? Two a uh, guy like you and a guy like him, actually. They look Fuck like. That. I swear to God, they look like How you guys. They're surviving in the jungle. Because they know they've been doing it for a long time. Every time there's a team act, it's always an Opie kind of guy yeah, and a me kind of guy. And they go out and they live with them for like two months and really? they have to uh, build. They like, have sex with them and stuff? No, they don't fuck anybody. No, but no, but some they, of the, they some had to wear the penis gourds, though. They had to take Did them they? off, though, because they were hurting. <laughs> they were hurting their little Why? white man penis? <laughs> yeah, because they, they dig into your bush fat. Yeah, the Look at them with their fucking wait, wait, wait. penis gourds. Yeah. I want what one. What the fuck is this, dude? They I've didn't do I've never heard of this show. Why would it's they really do good. this? It's I, really good. I, you like I want it there, Danny? Yeah, dude, it's oh, great. I love it. I it's want a great show. show. It's they great. Get, and you start to, you start to get into all the characters. Like you don't think that you're gonna like you're gonna identify with these tribe you know these tribes people, and then all of a sudden like you get I, your favorite ones, and you know I, one gets in trouble, and you get all you feel all upset I, for them. I search, the, I search out. <laughs> <laughs> they got the big sticks. They look silly. Why do the sticks have to be in boner position? By the way, <laughs> aren't they tied up? Can't just, they just hang? Just in case you get a hard on, you don't want it to be in non boner position. Who's and it hard on that mushes out like fucking, fucking Play Doh Fun Factory. Jesus. <laughs> why do they wear the, a penis gourd? Because they got to do what the, the tribes are doing, right? Yeah, no, I mean, why do they in the tribe? What oh. is that? It, 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 from what I remember, it was some kind of. Uh, it's like you, you don't wear it as a child, but you wear it as an adult. It's kind of like a rite of passage to become a man. You Hello. You, you have to wear this, this oh, penis yeah. gourd. Penis gourd. They're rich. Jeez. But your balls oh. are just hanging out. <laughs> it's look, a, look, I never said it was. It wasn't silly. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it what's is up, silly. Dude? What's oh, happening, bro? Gonna... So, are you guys still on the air? No, I'm, 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 I'm in the other room. What's up? Oh God, was that a bombing and a half? Yeah, it was fucking. It's all right, dude. You fucking bomb sometimes. Uh huh? You bomb sometimes. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah, you should call back or something. Did you think you bombed bad? Yeah. 
Oh, you're so on the air, so don't try to fucking act. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you suck. Oh, that's your great scenario. You couldn't pull I know, this because off. Too. Fucking, <laughs> I like Voss too much. <laughs> I, knew, I knew one of us would get the paranoid Voss call. Yeah. Oh, oh, what oh, happened? Shit. I bombed. I just, was oh, I bad? Do you right? think I completely oh, ruined Maybe any I chance of ever going on boy. the show again? I just make sure they know I'm good on a comedy stage. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. We all get the paranoid Voss call after his appearance. What? Here's the deal, because if Larry the Cable guy's here, he has important people listening. <laughs> oh. I'm up, sorry, Richie, I'm all by myself. I've never seen a guest look over their shoulder more than Larry the Cable guy. He was out in the worst way. <laughs> no, I didn't. He didn't want to talk about the, I just the fucking the... penis sticks anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone can laugh at the old dick gourd. Yeah. Yeah. Dick gourd, I want one. I think we should all get one and do a show, just the whole show of dick gourds. Oh, yeah? Oh, that'll be fun, sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll get we'll start actually, that off. We'll yeah, get you, you a wiffle ball bat, and you can just cut the end off it, yeah, you fucking it, fat it, dick Italian. It's got Italian. a big piece. Oh, it's, it's a big piece. That's a rumor. You'd have to saw an aluminum bat, like, at the end of it and just stick yeah. his fat it's meal It's a in. rumor. <laughs> it's not a mirror. rumor. Rumor and Look at his hands. He hasn't done a good day's work in fucking 20 years. Look how fat his fingers are. City hands still. from counting your money all your life, Mr. <laughs> Hooper. You do have big hands. Yeah. I never noticed that before. Big hands, fat. big cock, Bobby? Big hands, big, big cock. cock. Thin fingers. Big cock in them. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we got Ross. some Fister. We got more on Mark and Ollie. Yeah, you can keep... Oh, you hung up on him? Footer, no, what's on. up? Footer. Yo, what's up, boys? Hey. Hey, man, uh, I, I don't know which one, but out of the two, one is like more like kind of like mainly he's doing all the shit with the guys. Yeah. And then the other one is like stays with the chicks all the time and they fucking mock them in their, in their freaking yeah. booga booga <laughs> fucking uh, language. They, they fucking make fun of him and shit because they call him a little girl and shit. It's great. Oh, that's funny. That guy's got but, like a big feathery thing on the end of his dick. That's board. what you'd have. You'd have a feather on the end of yours. I would love the hey, feather. Yeah. Yes, sir. He would have a canoe. By the way, uh, how are the, uh, how are the, Air, hair plugs are doing. I know they're not. They're individual follicles. Oh, they from boy. the harvest area. And <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Porter. <laughs> Smart asses. They, they, they make fun of Anthony's hair plugs. I don't have a hair plug. <laughs> you have the plugs. I can't tell you. Where's a hat all the time? Pl- I know. I got to yeah, wear a hat. We're, we're all waiting for the big reveal. The big reveal is um, happening soon. Probably... Yeah, yeah. You probably know, by uh, uh, beginning of the summer. What you should do is you get Sam and turn him around and turn you around so we don't know who's who. Yeah. And yeah. just put a silhouette and then take your hat and we'll figure out no, who's who. No, it's individual follicles that they, they Im- that they, they implant in, in the thinning area. They get I like just a, got a little thinning in the back that I want it filled in. So they took it from the back here that never falls out. And then they cut it. They don't <laughs> do plugs like the old days where they took big fucking pencil erasers the size of Barbie hair and shove it in there. They did it's roll it out like fucking football artistically turf. Artistically done, where it's oh, the same now you're grain. Now you using the artistic word. Because it I is. I was with you with it's the individual art and hair science. follicles. Do you they really make think... it the same grain as your hair grows. <laughs> How do they know that? <laughs> because it's they gone. see it from the rest of the hair. Yeah, but that part is gone. No, they see where it was. It wasn't gone. That was just it. it Can was I see spinning. it? Can I see it? No, because now I got a hat head. Yeah, show Larry it's the cable awful. guy. Larry, could you take a look at this? I, I, I am so behind you on what you did. You know if I had the fucking... If I had your money, I'd get it done. But I'm not done yet. It's let's like, see if there's some bugs. It's gotta some grow bugs. in. Yeah, let's see it's some bugs. It's gotta grow in. Okay, okay look right bugs. here. All right. <laughs> see this? Whoa, look at the back, though, dude. It's not that bad. Let me see. This is all... was never here. Wow. This this was receded all the way around. Wow. That's all new. Let me see. See, because it's short. The back. Dude, your shit's and growing in. the back in. is growing in. Wow. It ain't that bad. You got a good head of hair on you. Motherfucker, dude. You Let me see the back of it. But it's... You know, see, it's kind of growing. It looks weird because you haven't had it a haircut. It looks weird because I haven't had a haircut. I but know. But it is fucking but it, grow, motherfucker. It's, it'll, it'll grow. It's your own fucking growing hair like they tell you in the goddamn commercial. You can go swimming. <laughs> they take it out of the back. Canoeing. You know, it's genetically engineered. The back of your hair doesn't fall out. From male pattern hey, baldness. Hey, you should have took it out From of your... From male pattern baldness. <laughs> I got a fucking on button here. We can do this all day, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you should, you should hey, have took it... Hey, you get you, that button, motherfucker? Oh, shit. Now it sounds all weird in my headphone. Does it really? Yeah. What happened? Know, what happened? Hold what happened? on. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm Back sorry. on. I'm oh. sorry. Danny, will you find a really hot African chick, the one I... You know, like the we, type of chick I'd like to We've fuck. shown you a few, I'm Bobby. Sure, yeah. What do you... No, I want, like... I'm talking like Muhammad Ali would fuck back in the day. Oh, wow. Yeah. One of those chicks. A hot? Could they take Let pubes and put it on your head? It would look what? really silly. Why would you want that? 
I I wonder if they could. You know, what? I'm just not saying you would want it, but if you they just, could, if because that never bush fat, you'd have been a never funny goes away. Nazi. Why? You'd have been the funny Nazi guy. <laughs> Let's try to put pubes on the head, and then people oh, just be Larry's walking around with pubes on their head. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like you know, a it's, funny it's something Nazi. that like who would do that? That who would be funny to you. Why? <laughs> Uh, so you'd never be able to comb your hair down. No, now. there's just one patch. There just, isn't that, that much. You so. wouldn't even be able to wet it. That hair doesn't even get wet. Oh. <laughs> it's like a duck's fucking <laughs> just fucking beads up off. All right. Uh, like, you ever try shampoo in your bush fat? It nothing happens. Bush fat. I don't have bush Why fat. Yeah, you have bush fat. Well, you got a little pubis. Yeah, the, you right, can what always. About her? Dude, I, that oh. that would be kitty porn in Africa. If, uh, see, she, she has probably, good tits, though. Let me. She's probably thirteen years but old. But let me be completely honest with you. If she's of age, I would so go there. That one? I'd so go there. I oh, would. Look, they've no, done that you. scarring. They do that I don't, scarring. I, I understand uh, the scarring thing. I don't like the belly button either. Just belly... Might be, it might be dry jizz, though. It's either scarring or dry No, that's jizz. that scarring they do. Her, <laughs> her tits <laughs> are um, definitely that of a, a, a early teen Jesus, African girl. Jesus, this shit? Because I've studied many, uh, I've studied in Africa. I like those little volcano nipples too, the way they go up, yeah, up, so and yeah. up. Looks like she got them stuck in a shop vac or something. <laughs> shop vac. Hey, Bobby, look at that. That's they do. I remember something from the cellar you got to tell Aunt. Yeah. And I'm not setting you up to bomb. I thought right. it was hilarious. Sorry. Okay. What you, what you uh, uh, do to make sure the girl doesn't get pregnant? Oh, oh. that was fucking. When I when I used kill, to fuck it, kill her. <laughs> well, now that I'm married, it's it's I'm running through this fucked up because I can fuck without a condom and I can also leave it in, uh -huh. which I I don't I don't do that. I haven't left it in. That, really, I, I've taught myself to you know I'm gonna come whap pull it out and then I would come all over myself and just sl kill them. I, <laughs> I slap all the dead babies. <laughs> oh, I'll slap her face if any's on her face. Is that serious? I'll, just to I be made on sure the safe side. All my babies are dead. I just fucking kill them all. You're out of your mind. I would just mush them and mush them in and make sure all those little, their fucking little tails are broken. No. <laughs> now, I went home with that thought on Saturday. I'm like, uh, that was ridiculous. But then I started thinking about like, wait a minute. Are you, you know. Uh, you never know. She could get a <laughs> fingernail scoop and push it up there and <laughs> fucking lock you away for the next fucking 18 years. <laughs> Fuck you. I killed so, them all. So you slap them to make sure oh, they're I dead. I slap my belly and <laughs> kill them all. Uh, I know Larry's got to go. He's, he's trying to be polite and safe. He's really got to go. So we should wrap up. Someone wants to know if you gained all the weight uh, back, and I, I, I'm here to say no. Larry, no, looks I great. Didn't. No, no, no. We I couldn't didn't. get to the phone call, but yeah, no, I'm down fifty, but I've been, you know what? I've been working out every day. I've been lifting some weight, so I've been, you know, really? try, I've been trying to keep it off. You that get the way big too, gig with so. the, what was it? Nutrisystem. Nutrisystem. Yeah, yeah, I remember the commercials. Does it work? Yeah, you yeah, definitely it lost good. weight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. My wife good. told me if I lost ten more pounds, she'd let me back on top. I just for. lost around 70 pounds in the last year, too. I, I'm not even kidding. I would. I got on my wife one time, and she literally was like, wait. Like she, <laughs> the, re, the remote was under her back, and she was like, honey, please, can you? And I was like, what the fuck? So she actually had to get on on top of me. For, <laughs> yeah, so. you were to wait. But now you can get back on top. You look well, good. No, I want to fuck new chicks now. I'm fucking hot again. <laughs> <laughs> fuck her. <laughs> he, was talking about, he was talking about his sex life on the street the other night, too. Uh -huh. Like so you, you look at it as a workout now. Oh yeah, that well, was, I fuck. That was fun. I fuck funny now. I'm like one more, two, three. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> I'm doing reps. Yeah, I'm doing reps when I'm fucking. Come on, come what, on. what was the old Push style it out. again? The, I did. Uh, what I used to do. What? <laughs> no, you were comparing that. It oh, used to old, be this way, but now it's like a workout. The, You're like fucking. Let me tell you, and the old one was. Shit. I had to literally grab my balls and like. I was so fat, like pull them down just so my dick. I would have anything for her to sit on. Oh my god! It was it was awful, and I would have like that fucking diabetes sweat going because my sugar was all fucked up because we had pizza and the carbs fucked me up and yeah, just you, cramping. Good thing is, you know your wife really loves you when that's going on. Yeah, you know right? what? I think she's uh, now. I'm like I look at pictures of me back when I was fat, and I'm like this bitch is insane. There's no way you could have loved me. I'm like, you were with me. I, she looked at a picture of me when I was my fattest, and I, she looked at it, she went, oh, my God, baby. 
I'm like, you were there. <laughs> you, you thought that you was were me. fucking me. And, but see, she liked you, not the, not your body. See, <laughs> not that horrible she liked, body. You she had. liked what oh. was inside it, not yeah. the disgusting look of the outside. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Exactly. Exactly. sweaty, bloated. Oh, it was fucking <laughs> white awful. fish belly on top of I, her. Oh my god, my belly button would make. And you always got to peel your sack away from your thigh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Larry's been uh, there. You have Jesus. to wear underwear. <laughs> With the, yeah. You have to because ass and ball sweat makes an acid. Oh, yeah. It just burns out corduroys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> You get a big red rash. Around yeah, your, yeah, you get red. Oh, ah. Fuck, man. You know what? Congratulations. Congratulations to you. Look at you, you uh, too, <laughs> Nice. You know what? It's bad. If you, if you're, there used to be fat tour coming check. soon. What was if, your name? Richard Wiley. What was it? Uh, Richard. Uh, 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 my name is Patrice O'Neill. Go ahead. Write that down. If you're fucking a chick <laughs> and you're up in push-up position, yeah, and you can't look down <laughs> and see your dick going in and out, no, dude, it's I time to fucking lose some weight. Can I just say something? I haven't seen my. I just I just trimmed all my bush fat for the first time in like two years. Yeah. I haven't seen my cock. <laughs> I, I didn't see my cock for two years, dude. I would look down and I wouldn't even see like the the tip of it. I no. couldn't even see it. You no. couldn't watch like nope. the whole action of nope. it. You, you know, doing it. Nope. I couldn't I see it. Down. Nope. You, me, and Rosie O'Donnell. None of them. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Larry had to be out of here a while <laughs> ago. I appreciate you hanging oh, out. Yeah. Absolutely, Larry. You were Thank supposed you. to. So why don't we close up the show? You got Larry the Cable Guy, the big uh, Comedy Central roast this Sunday, 10 p.m. on Comedy Central. And it's I'm real hearing good. great things about it, yeah. Oh, it's real good. And Lisa, who's been at all of them, said she thinks it's the funniest one they've had yet this year. Yeah, there's so. a nice little buzz oh, on good. there, so congrats on that. And obviously, LarryTheCableGuy.com, you're torn still and doing all that, making the movies. You're, you don't need help from us. Who are you kidding? Well, but I appreciate you having me. And I always love coming in. You guys are awesome. Thanks for always Thanks having me. Thanks for coming, man. Bob, Absolutely. man, awesome to meet you. Yeah. Dude, nice to meet yeah, you too, you man. Did, man. I'm glad you I did. met you, dude. Now you know. Great. And Bob Kelly yeah. did great today. Thanks, Bobby. You got it. Can I plug this? Yeah, little? go ahead. I'm gonna be. This sucks. I'm gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna be at Annabelle fucking New York at Ollie's Point. You want to do that in front of Larry? Larry. I'm sorry. I know, Larry. I'm gonna be doing a. a, a hundred... <laughs> Basically, Larry, help him out. Cause Larry, listen go to ahead. Hey, will you read that for me? I'm doing a hundred and twenty seater. <laughs> Robert's gonna be at Ollie's Point, March fifteenth, one forty Merrick Road, Amityville, New York. Yeah. Doors open at eight thirty. Yeah. Twenty one yeah. and over. Tickets fifteen dollars. Yeah. Read yeah. that. Read the ticket price again. Fifteen dollars. <laughs> Remember those days? Hey, Larry, what's your? <laughs> <laughs> Remember those days? <laughs> Larry. 15 bucks. Larry that's expensive. Goes, no, too. I don't. <laughs> that's with. <laughs> That's that's with the drinks. <laughs> that's hey man. Nah, it's gonna be a good show. Yeah, darn right. <laughs> I'm kill and I'll be at uh, Kemper Arena on. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, shit. oh, you lost Bobby. Oh, oh damn. Yeah, but the funny thing, I'm, I'm gonna be there too. I'm actually bought tickets to your show. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be like somebody ah, coming in here, fucking... sitting down and going, "I'm gonna be uh, installing air conditioning and heating in an attic." Yeah. That's exactly what that is like. To him is you doing that plug it's fucking awful yeah but you know what it, it, you know uh i got nothing i'm done it's just I'm, larry you know what it was a pleasure meeting you yeah, i'll see you someday he's funnier than i am he should be there yeah all right at no. the enormo dome